Hello all, welcome to the channel Cloud Knowledge. Today in this video, we will demonstrate the creation of single Azure SQL database with compute tier as serverless. So what is single database? The single database resource type, it creates a database in Azure SQL database with its own set of resources and is managed via server. Okay, and serverless compute tier is for the single database in Azure, which automatically scales the compute based on the workload demand and it builds for the amount of compute used per second. Okay, so if we have to create a database which is cost optimized, we can go for the serverless compute tier. Okay, the serverless compute tier also automatically pauses databases during inactive periods when only storage is built and automatically resumes databases when activity returns. Okay, so we'll demonstrate the creation in the portal. So here is our resource group known as Cloud Knowledge and we will create the Azure single SQL database. So in order to create a new resource, we'll click on create And in the marketplace, we will search for that resource. So let's search it with the keywords Azure SQL. Click enter. So the very first product which comes over here is the Azure SQL. Let's click on create here. Now it will pop up select SQL deployment options. It has three options. Our demonstration is to create single database the single database lies under the SQL database. So here we'll click on create and it will open the configuration settings here. So the very first tab is the basics tab wherein we have the subscription auto populated resource group auto populated and now the database details. The first setting is to write the database name. So let's write the database name. So let's name it as Cloud Knowledge Single Serverless. This is the name given. Then comes the server. If you have the server already created, you can select one or we have to create a new server. So let's create a new server. Let's name it as Cloud Knowledge Single Server. The location is set by default. In the authentication method, we will select Use SQL Authentication. Okay. And the server admin login we will give here. So let's give the login as CK single server and give a password. Okay, so here in the server, in the creation of server, we have to give the server name. The location is populated by default, you can change it from here. Authentication me method, we have to select. So here we are using SQL authentication, wherein we have to give the admin login and the password details. So this, this completes the server settings. Click OK. And now this is done. Want to use SQL Elastic Pool. So our requirement is not to create SQL Elastic Pool. Give, Keep it as no. Work environment, we want it for development. Compute and storage. So here in the demonstration, we are going to create a serverless compute tier. So for that purpose, we have this configure database. Let's click on it. So here the service tier is general purpose and compute tier is serverless because we have selected the environment as development. So here shows the cost summary wherein the storage and the compute cost is calculated based on the configuration we have selected for the compute tier. Now here we have 
the serverless wherein the max v course and the v minimum v course we can configure so if let's say i'm increasing the max v course here to 2 minimum v course is 0.5 then here we have the auto pause delay option wherein the database automatically will pause if it is inactive for the time period specified here so delay is by default one hour and if we try to make it less than one hour it will show us the message please specify an auto pause delay between one hour and seven days so let's make it to one hour only then data max size in gbs so it is showing us 32 gbs so this is just for demonstration so we don't want it for 32 we will reduce the size let's say to 4 okay and we can see the estimated storage cost is also reduced so let's increase it to 47 the storage cost is increased so in our demonstration we'll make it to a lesser size so it will bear a 60 4.62 INR for the storage cost and the compute cost will be 0.010442 INR. Serverless database are built in VCOS based on a combination of the CPU and memory utilization. So the settings we have configured. Here comes another setting. Would you like to make this database as zone redundant? Provides what is zone redundancy? It provides enhanced availability by spreading replicas across availability zones within one region. So here our region was US East, wherein it will create another replica. So if we click here, yes, the cost will also increase 129.25 INR. It will double the cost of the storage because it will create a replica. If we do not want it, then it will be 64. Okay, so here in our case, we do not want it to be zone redundant. So this completes the setting of the service and the compute tier. Wherein we have selected the service tier as general purpose, compute tier serverless, because this is for the development environment. And the max and the min v course, we can alter here. Auto pause delay, which should be minimum one hour or maximum to seven days, data max size, we have limited to six and we have not enabled the zone redundant option so it will show us the cost summary and we are going to apply these changes so this is applied now backup storage redundancy backup storage redundancy is geo redundant and local redundant storage is available in all regions zone redundancy is available in regions with availability zones so we don't want it to be zone or the geo redundant we only want it locally redundant backup storage, right? Next, we will go to the networking. In the networking tab, we have the network connectivity. So the connectivity method in our case, we will make it public endpoint. Firewall rule settings. Here, first setting is allow Azure services and resources to access the server. We don't want it. Add current IP address. Yes, because we want it to be accessible through this client IP. Next is connection policy. Connection policy will leave it as default. Encrypted connections minimum TLS version we will select the highest that is 1.2. Next tab will go to the security. Security this is enable Microsoft Defender for SQL. Okay so here we have the option of start free trial so we'll click over here then Ledger identity will leave it. Transparent data encryption will leave it as is. Next, we'll go to the additional settings. Wherein the data source option is there. Start with a blank database. Restore from backup or select sample data to populate your new database. So here we have three options. We will click on the sample database. So that we have the AdventureWorks LT database with all its tables created already in the single database okay so adventure works lt will be created as the sample database database collation we we'll leave it as is next we'll go to the tag section wherein we are not going to create any tag then review and create so review and create is the last tab wherein we can review 
what all settings we have set and if, if, if we want to alter any we can go for it. So here the storage cost and the compute cost is showing us in the product details then the terms then the subscription resource group region database name server name authentication methods server admin login compute storage backup storage redundancy networking settings security settings additional settings whatever we have given is populated okay and once we are confirmed that the settings are reviewed we can click on create so once we click on create it will go for validation And here you can see after the after validating the deployment will be shown as in progress and slowly we can see the resources type status operation details have these resources started getting created so here the resources are created which are green tick marked are already created the server storage account then the connection policies, firewall rules, and now the database is getting created. So once all the resources are created, our deployment will be completed. So let's wait for the deployment to get completed. Yes, your deployment is complete. Here we have this go to resource option. We'll go to the resource. Yes, so this will be the first page or the getting started page of the SQL database which we have created. Okay, so we'll first go to the overview and we can see the resource group, the status, location, subscription, subscription ID, tags if we have given server name, connection strings, pricing tier, auto pause delay, every detail of this particular SQL database will be shown in the overview tab. Next, we want to query the data of the sample database Adventure Works, which we have selected while creation of this database. So we'll go to the query editor. We have the login credentials already given. We'll try to log in. So here in the query editor, we can see the view is showing us the different tables of the sample database we have imported that is adventure works and here is the panel to write the query okay so here upon writing the query which is the sample query to fetch the top 20 category and the product name from the product category and product table here and upon running this query through this run button we can fetch the results here itself. So the category name and the product name of top 20 results in here. So this is how we can create the database and query the tables or the results from the different tables present in that database. So this was the simple demo on the creation of single SQL database with serverless compute. Thank you for watching the video. Happy learning to all.